Chubu na Chuta. Hello, I am Chubu. I'm a little girl enjoying both playing and learning. Actually, I think I'm missed with a big cuteness and intelligence. For now, I will share the knowledge I learned with you. How about you would like my lessons? And please don't blame me if I make any mistake. Uh huh. In last episode, I mentioned the stars, which is a feel like objects composed of hot gas and give off light and heat, like the sun, for example. So today, I would like to talk about the constellations formed by the stars. Before star, let me introduce my brother and my sister, Austin. Apart from the sun, there are countless stars all over the galaxy in the universe. They are so far away from the Earth, so they only look at still shining spots in the night sky. The ancients used imaginary lines to link the stars, which form different patterns and call them constellations. So, a constellation is a group of stars that form a particular pattern in the night sky. Ancients named the constellations after the characters of the legends, animals, or tools. For example, Sagittarius, Leo, and Libra. Below constellations are common in the night sky. Orion, shaped like a hunter who is holding a prey in the left hand and a wooden stick in the right hand. Southern Cross, composed of four stars, is the smallest constellation and shaped like a cross. Big Dipper, composed of seven stars and shaped like a cooking pot, is part of Ursa Major. Because of rotation and revolution of the Earth, we can see different constellations at different time and places at night. Therefore, the constellations can help us identify the directions and seasons. Cyclone Cross and Big Dipper are commonly used to navigate. How do you find south? The first step is to identify the Southern Cross, then you send the main axis of the cross by four and a half times its length. From the end of it, drop a line straight down to the horizon. That is south. Southern Cross appears at a low altitude in the south. People living in the Southern Hemisphere using the Southern Cross to guide the direction. Many countries in the Southern Hemisphere apply the pattern of the Southern Cross to their national flags. How do you find North? Plavis is the brightest star in the northern sky. People find the Plavis through the Big Dipper to identify the north of the Earth. It is easy to locate Plavis, draw a line between the two stars which outline the outer part of the Big Dipper's part, and go about five times its length to Plavis. The ancients also identified the seasons based on the directions pointed by the handle of the Big Dipper's part. In addition to the Big Dipper, we can also identify the seasons by observing other constellations. Because in different seasons, some will appear particularly bright in the night sky, such as the following. Do you know how many constellations are there in the night sky? Astronomers have divided the constellations into 88 groups in three categories. 28 northern constellations, 47 southern constellations, and 13 zodiac constellations. Where are the zodiac constellations? The ecliptic is the plane on which the Earth orbits the Sun. The celestial sphere is an imaginary sphere that is of a very large and specified size and have the same center with the Earth. Zodiac constellations lie along the intersection of the ecliptic and the celestial sphere. How to find each of zodiac constellations? Simply draw a straight line from the center of the Earth to the Sun, and then stand at the back of the Sun. With the revolution of the Earth, the line will point to different constellations, so we can understand the position of each one. The range of days of each constellation represents the days that the line points to each constellation. Each zodiac constellation corresponds with the zodiac sign set for Ophiuchus. So the days of zodiac signs are different from that of the constellations. A 
astrologers believe that your zodiac sign influences you and your life. They divided the zodiac signs into four categories: fire, earth, air, and water. Fire signs include Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. People who are fire signs are considered to be impulsive and have lots of energy. They tend to stand out in the crowd. Earth signs include Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Other signs are considered to be practical, realistic, and loyal. They tend to do everything they can to achieve their goals. Air signs include Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Air signs are considered to be calm and optimistic. They tend to do things rationally. Water signs include Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Water signs are considered to be very sensitive and mindful. They tend to become rather emotional sometimes. Well, those are astrologers' opinions. I think you can't take them seriously. Because everyone is unique and making changes. Well, I hope you enjoyed my lesson today. Now I need to go back to my study. Thank you for watching and see you next time.